Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to master the art of editing short form content. When it comes to short form content, when posting on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts, whatever is going to blow up is going to be subjective. For it to blow up, it has to have a certain pop to it. So you can't edit it like a long form style video. I just filmed a short form piece of content that I am going to post on my Instagram that is going to generate me a ton of attraction. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how in this video. But before we get started, I wanna let you guys know that I am holding a free live masterclass on how to become a pro video editor from A to Z. And keep in mind guys, this is completely free, so go join within the link in the description. This is going to be held on November 20th. So go join the call because I think it's only limited to 500 slots of people who can join in the free call. So go check that out with the link in the description. But without further ado, we are gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve. All right guys, so I have my video in to the software and what I'm gonna first things first is, uh, what I'm gonna firstly do is honestly just color grade my video. So what I have is this thing called a power grade. So this thing is basically going to transform my footage back to normal. And as you can see here, it is definitely a lot darker than I'd like it to just because of the lighting is kind of off. So now we have my footage back to normal with the color space transform right here. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply a LUT. So boom, there we go. Now we have a LUT and the video is looking very good so far. Uh, I'm just gonna turn the LUT down just by a little bit so that the lighting can still make its pop. Um, and in order to create this, cre create this power grade is we're just gonna grab the still and then it'll pop up in our power grade bin. So now I can reuse this for any project that I ever want to make. Um, and then that way I don't have to mess with the exposure or anything else for now on. So now we have the video created and now I'm just gonna simply go ahead and cut this video up. All right, so now what I'm about to do here is something called Z cut. So basically I'm gonna drag this up and uh, I'm just gonna do this for just about every single clip, just cutting that down and just basically taking out the dead space in the video, kind of making the video more interesting. So by doing this, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this is going to do. But for now, I'm just gonna speed this process up. Oh, once you have all the Z cuts, the reason I left them like this is because the method is to highlight all of them so that you don't have to do it all, at, all individually, link it, and then we're going to unlink it, and then we are going to delete this top clip. So now it sounds something like this. If you edit in DaVinci Resolve, and you are stuck leveling up as a video editor, then listen up. Because on November 20th, I'm going to be hosting a free live masterclass that you wanna be. This is going to be from a So it's basically the audio is starting before the video comes on. Now this is what I meant by short form and long form content. Now you wouldn't typically do this for a long form style video, but you're gonna do it for a short form style video. A to Z, and it is going to be completely free. So how I'm gonna start this out is with some zooms. And this is a free plugin called Magic Zoom. So if you just go ahead and install that, then you can basically do it. It's a free plugin from Mr. Alex Tech. If so. you edit in DaVinci Resolve, you are, if you edit in, if you edit in, so first things first is I'm gonna double click, unlink this clip and drag, uh, hold option on this. I'm gonna go up once on this clip. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the Fusion page. And the reason I'm heading over to the Fusion page is because I'm gonna do a shift space and search for a magic mask. Open up the inspector tab, go to better. And I'm basically just going to highlight me out essentially. And I'll show you guys exactly what, why, and what we're gonna do with this mask. All right, so as you can see, it is now set up and the mask looks pretty good. Now all we're gonna do is just hit this track back and forth button. So now that it's done, you can scrum through the footage and you can see that it is clearly perfectly fine and the mask is just very good. Now, if we go back to the home page, we're gonna drag this zoom above all everything. And then what we're gonna do is since I say how to edit it, like you're editing in DaVinci Resolve to drag the viewer's attention, I'm gonna get the DaVinci Resolve logo. So now that we have the DaVinci Resolve logo in here, I'm gonna create it and put it like right there and then drag and drop it under everything. So that way it looks really crispy just like that. So if we want, we're gonna just go ahead and create this as a new compound clip and using my plugin pre-animate we're just going to go ahead and do down v2 and we slap that on and as you can see it's going to pre-animate for us down and then that way boom so now it goes out so now what we're going to add here is since we didn't add an out animation which you can with the pre-animate plugins we're going to add a simple transition effect here so by doing that we're going to grab this and we're going to go ahead and hit screen mode and so boom. you are so now we have this you are Boom, just like that, it looks super crispy. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a sound effect so that, that way we can pair it up with this uh, this effect right here, so. Oh, you are. 
you are stuck boom just like that and th th these are all in my packs that i have um, and these sound effects you can get with my packs so now if we come here and we're gonna do another sound effect just to tie this all together like leveling up as a video editor you are stuck with so now for this leveling up as a video editor, we're gonna go to this essential overlays and we're going to go ahead and sauce on this noise. Guys, I will be giving you all of these, these packs and presets on the call, on the free call. So make sure you show up to that call. Stuck leveling up as a video editor. Or stuck le so leveling. Leveling up as a video editor. Put that there and we're gonna grab this hold effect and bring it right here. Listen up. Because, no. because on November 20th Sorry. level, so here, now we're gonna go ahead and grab a simple title. We're gonna grab the text plus title first, cut that here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the text font that we want. So for in this instance, we are going to add railway, and then I'm going to come here, add some simple shift space and add a glow real quick, um, just like so. And then we're gonna size this up, and then we're gonna do leveling up Leveling up. So leveling up is going to be one word, and then as, as a, a, and then video editor. Video editor. So leveling up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create this as a compound clip. Leveling up. And then on leveling, so we're going to hit, we're going to split this actually. And for this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and crop to the, to the right. I'm going to crop to the right, cropping out the up part, just like that and then leveling up leveling up then for this effect just for this beginning we're going to start it off faded away and we're going to go one up one down up one two up one down one on the opacity up and then boom so now we have this. leveling up leveling leveling up up so now what we're going to do to sell this effect is we're going to go ahead and grab this mouse click and we're going to just take the first sound effect out of it level and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just layer these. Take this as a two, and we're gonna just do it every other, just like that. Take them all together and highlight them and close them down. Leveling, like leveling. Just like that, cool, sounds good. And then to take change these all to mono, so that in that way it now sounds like this. Leveling up, level. And then if we want to make this look even better, we can go ahead and sauce on some magic zoom, so. Level, leveling up. So now we're gonna cut this one. As a, so I think for this one, we're actually just gonna do as, as a, and then a, so. Leveling up as a video, as a video. So then for these ones, we're gonna go ahead and grab this sound effect too, and we're gonna do a different effect this time. So we'll grab this paper effect. As, as a, a video. So. As a video act. As a video. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and grab this sound effect, put that like in the middle when it comes on, just like that. Same thing for this. So we'll go ahead and make sure those are mono. Turn those down. So as a video, as a video. They're actually a little too quiet, so we'll turn it up. As a video. And then for video editor, we're gonna go ahead and grab like this, and we're gonna go to the transform and go to lines and push these closer together. Then go into the Fusion page and uh, make sure that we are in the Fusion page within the actual uh, first clip. And then with the template selected, we're going to go to Text, double click, Create Character Level Stylings, go to Modifiers, and then we're going to highlight the video. And we're just going to change the video size a little bigger um, and then to like a purple effect just like this. Then turn back on the video. Zoom. And then it doesn't look centered to me for some reason. So I'm going to center it just like that. Come up and create a new compound clip. Once again, we're going to deactivate that. Go back into the Fusion page with the compound clip. We're going to go ahead and do a transform node. Um, shift space for a transform. And then that'll add this in just like so. And then what we're going to do, make sure you select the more advanced transform. So... For this, we're just gonna go ahead and turn this down like right here. Turn the zoom down pretty much all the way and then the width and then the height. And we're gonna do this all on frame one. So now we're gonna hit a keyframe on every single one of these on frame zero. 
Then we're going to go to like frame 10 and uh, essentially basically turn everything back to normal. So then the zoom, we're just going to turn it up just a little bit more. Nothing crazy, but now everything is back to normal. So now we have Video something editor. like this. So now if we want to spice this up, we're going to just select the position Y and the spline. Go ahead and hit Command A, double click, go to Ease, and then go to Out Cubic. So now we have Video the, Editor. So now it looks very wonky. So now we're going to go to all of these, zoom to fit, do the same thing. So grab that, go to Ease, Out Cubic. So now Video Editor. Video Editor. So now one of the last things we're going to do for this effect is we're going to grab another Transform. So that should be good for this, and then we're going to go ahead and make sure that motion blur is toggled on to bring in the effect. So it looks something like that now. And then to really sell this, we're going to go to the uh, opacity mode under this and then turn it down like completely. Hit a keyframe and then come up to like right here and basically turn it back up to normal. So go like two frames up and turn it up. Go one, turn it down, go up. And we're going to do that flicker effect once again. So now it looks something like this. As a video editor, as a video, video editor, video editor. So now we're going to basically copy this same sequence over. Video, ed video editor. But we need to turn it over like one. Video editor. So there we go. As a video editor. So now for to highlight, really emphasize this November 20th, I'm going to grab a preloaded text that I have, uh, which looks something like this. So... November 24th, looks like that text doesn't allow me to do that, so we're gonna just use this one for now. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this. I really like this purple styled effect, so. Because on, on, on November 20th, I'm go going to be hosting a f So for this magic zoom, we're just gonna go ahead and go to the effects and just make sure we type on the zoom and hold, so just zoom. Leveling up as a video editor. And we're stuck leveling up as a video editor so for video editor video, i think i want to just go ahead and turn video editor and listen up on november 20th i'm going to be hosting a so for this one we're going to go ahead and go to the fusion page with this and uh since this, these are all the nodes that i have selected for this one personally so now i'm going to just go ahead and, and sauce on a transform once again and on negative six i'm just going to bring it down like so and then i'm going to hit a keyframe and go to like frame 34 and then hit 0 0.5 then go to the spline hit the transform zoom to fit command a double click ease out cubic so just like that it looks very looks very smooth um, and then what we're going to go ahead and add is on here we're going to go ahead and add a camera shake um, what this is going to do is basically allow us to so we're going to turn down the overall strength and the speed to really give it that subtle wiggle. And then we want it just a little bit more, but nothing crazy, so. Just like that, that looks perfect. So now if we go ahead and- Because on back, November 20th, I'm going to be hosting a free- a f So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab Magic Zoom once again. We're gonna put it right here. And then this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the effects and we're just gonna go and hit the zoom speed. Free live masterclass on, on on how to become the pro video editor that you wanna be. This is So then what what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it just like that. Posting so. a free live So I like it how it goes in really fast. The masterclass like on how to become the pro video editor that you wanna be. This is going to be from A to Z video editor that you wanna be. This is going to be from I will I will you comment the word so we want to reuse and cycle animations. So I'm just going to drag this free. one out. So we're going to emphasize free, maybe bring it in a little closer. Word free. I will send you the link so that you can make sure that you can. And then we're going to recycle this same effect as well. Make sure so. that you could sign up and make it to the call. Now keep in mind, this is for people who is genuinely trying to come and learn real value on how to level up as a video editor. If that's not you, the video editor. If that's not you. So we're going to zoom in on this, so. If that's not you, if that's not you. Let's make sure that looks a little that's, better. So, if that's not you. Then don't join. But if you are, then make sure you comment free. So then, for this last one, we're just gonna make sure that we really emphasize the comment free. Um, by doing that, we're gonna grab. Then don't join. But if you, 
boom, just like that. Just drag on this text plus, and we're gonna grab this, go for a Gotham Ultra, really size that up, put it right here. Don't join, but if you are, make sure you comment free. And then for this, we're just gonna zoom in on my face. Just make like, sure you com comment free. Just like that, okay, cool. Now obviously a subtle, you know, not as much stuff going on within the actual back end of the video, but the hook is very strong, which is exactly what we want. So what I'm gonna do here is since I like this, this part of the video, I'm gonna mark it with an holding M on my keyboard. And I have some B-roll clips of me working on a laptop. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna simply go ahead and create a cool video. Masterclass on how to become the pro video editor that you wanna be. This is so we're gonna cut that there. This is going to And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda of do this like the viral style that you are seeing on the internet. So we're gonna to go to the head and go to the Fusion page. We're gonna go ahead and add in a black background. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna now add what's called a square mask. And I'm gonna simply just go ahead and toggle this on to where it goes just like this. Maybe a little bigger, but we wanna make sure the red corners go to the ends of the videos. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the corner radius and turn the corner radius up. Now, we're gonna hit invert, and now you have that viral style. And if you hit up the soft edge just a little bit, boom. Masterclass on how to become the pro video editor that you wanna be. This is going. So boom, just like that, now we have what it takes to edit short form content. Now, within actually posting this, the thing that I'm doing is making sure I have a call to action. So I'm, I'm making them comment the word free and setting up a mini chat to where the, I can send them the link to the free call. But guys, that's going to conclude this video. I'm gonna add some captions, which I'm literally just going to auto generate. Um, but that is pretty much how to master the art of short form content and how to get them making viral content. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please, please like, comment, share, whatever. And don't forget to join the masterclass. I will see you guys in the next video.